Hello everyone, welcome to Navin's Commerce and Management Academy. So in this video, I am going to explain about the classification of accounts. Basically, the classification of accounts has been classified into two categories. There is personal and impersonal accounts. So impersonal accounts again classified into real accounts and nominal accounts. So that is the classification of accounts. So means whenever you are making a journal entries based on the rules of these accounts, you will go for preparing the journal entries. So this is the classification. Let us go for discussing about the classification of accounts in detail. That is first one is personal accounts. So personal accounts, the transactions related to persons is called as personal accounts means any transaction of business which is related to persons they are called as personal accounts and it involves accounts of persons accounts of persons with whom the business deals so means whatever the business transaction you are identifying if the, the transaction is dealing with the persons of business then they are considered as the personal accounts so that is the meaning of personal accounts so so here whatever the persons you are saying that the persons are involved in the business so those persons are classified into three categories that means here we are saying that were the transactions related to persons or the accounts of persons will come under the personal accounts so whom we will consider as the persons under the personal account so now the persons are classified into three categories so means to whomever we are saying persons and our personal account they are classified into three first one is natural persons and the second one artificial persons and the third one is representative persons so these are the three categories of persons means whenever you are considering personal accounts these three types of persons should be considered so all these three types of persons will be considered under the personal accounts so let us discuss these three types of persons in detail so who are natural persons and how these persons will be treated under the making of journal entries natural artificial and representative persons so first one is natural persons so natural persons so natural persons are those persons who are created by the god so means the persons who are created by the god they are called as natural persons that is human beings all the human beings will be considered as the natural persons because they are the creation of god so they are considered as the natural persons so that is the first type examples we can give as krishna account or we can give it as the mohan account and we can also give it as the ram account so means whenever we are having the transactions with the names of the persons like whatever the examples i have given so in such cases those transactions will come under the personal accounts where the person will be treated as the natural persons and the second one is artificial persons so artificial persons includes corporate bodies means here the natural persons is creation of god now artificial persons are these are the creation of human beings like banks financial institutions or any other organizations means the things which are not natural they are considered as the artificial persons the corporate bodies so artificial persons includes banks and business organizations as well as any other type of institutions so means artificial persons all the institutions and all the corporate entities will be considered as the artificial 
persons like banks organizations and institutions so when you are having transactions related to banks like sbi account or icici account so they are the banks the transactions related to such type of bank accounts so will be considered as artificial and transactions related to institutions like lic life insurance corporation of limited and also any other financial institutions they will also come under the artificial persons and business organizations like reliance limited so they are they is one of the top most business organization like these banks organizations or any other institutions if your transactions is related to with these things then they are called as the artificial persons that is the corporate bodies and the third one is representative persons so here representative persons indicates for the representation of persons so that is so first two categories one is natural persons and the second one is artificial third is representative persons where these are the represent some people in the which are related to the business organizations so these are the three classifications of persons the transactions related to persons are called as personal accounts and the persons under personal accounts are classified into three types natural persons are created by god artificial persons which involves corporate bodies and representative persons so that is corporate bodies involves banks organizations and any other institutions and the third one is representative persons which represents the people in the business these are the three types of persons so whenever you are having transactions with these three types of persons then those transactions will be considered as the personal accounts and now we will see what is the rule we will follow for the personal accounts means whenever you are having the transactions related to personal account according to double entry system you should make two entries that is debit and credit entry in case of personal account what should be debited and what should be credited let us see so the rule for personal account is so first you should have the debit entry and then credit entry so in case of debit entry debit the receiver means the person who is going to receive them will show under the debit side and the person who is giving them will show under the credit side so that is the rule for personal account whenever you are having the transaction of personal account the people who is receiving the money or anything the benefit them shown under the debit column the people who is giving the benefit they will be credited under the journal entries so that is the rule for personal account which we will follow under the journal entries and the second category of accounts is impersonal accounts transactions other than personal accounts so till now we have discussed the personal accounts so apart from those personal accounts whatever the transactions we are having all those transactions will come under the impersonal account so either it may be any other transactions other than personal and impersonal accounts are again classified into two categories real accounts and nominal accounts so let us see what do you mean by real account and what is the meaning of nominal account so first one is real accounts so real accounts these are the accounts which are related to the assets or properties of the business organization means whatever the assets you are having purchasing and sale of assets purchasing and sale of the business properties they those transactions will come under the real accounts and the examples we can give it as the machinery account or we can give some as the plant account and also we can give the example of land and buildings so means these are the properties and we will consider them as the assets for the business organization so whenever you are having transactions related to assets or properties of business organization then they will come under the real accounts and these real accounts will be explained with the rules so here what is the rule for real account so debit what comes in 
means when you are making the transaction of assets what is coming into business organization that is shown under the debit side and in the opposite credit side you have to show what goes out means what is the thing which is going out for getting into the asset that should be recorded under the credits so that is the rule of real accounts debit what comes in credit what goes out let us take an example purchased furniture for cash rupees 10000 so this is the transaction so now here in this transaction we are purchasing the furniture by paying the cash so according to double entry system every transaction you have to show two types of entries that is debit and credit entry so now the furniture is considered as an asset for the company so the transaction will come under the real account and now so we will go for following the rules of debit and credits so debit the rule is what comes in we are purchasing furniture so furniture will come into the organization so furniture will be debited and in the credit column what goes out here we are saying purchased furniture for cash so cash is going outside so in the credit column we will go for writing cash account this is how we will go for making the journal entry for the real accounts that is the transactions related to the particular assets or business properties so this is about the the second category of accounts real and now we will see the nominal accounts so the last category classification of accounts so nominal accounts is related to expenses and incomes of business organizations means whatever the expenses you are incurring and whatever the incomes you are getting so both expenses as well as incomes the transactions related to expenses and incomes we will consider as under the nominal accounts so if you are having transaction of expenses or if you are having transaction of income then those are considered under the nominal account itself so examples for expenses we can give it as the salaries the salary is paid to the employees then it will become the expense rent paid to the factory or go down and wages paid to the employees so discount allowed for our customers so all these things will become the expenses for the company and what are the incomes dividend received if any shares is invested you will go for the receiving dividend so interest received on your bank deposits or bank savings or commission received from any other persons for giving some benefit to them like that whatever the incomes and whatever the expenses you are having for all those expenses and income related transactions will be considered under the nominal account and what is the rule we will follow for the nominal account is so the rule for nominal account is so rule is debit all expenses and losses means whatever the expenses or loss you are facing from the company those expenses and losses should be debited and in the credit column you should should go for showing all incomes and gains means expenses in the debit column incomes in the credit column and if you are facing any loss that is in debit column and if you are getting any gains that should be recorded under the credit column so that is the rule which will applicable for the nominal accounts so these are the three classifications of accounts that is so whenever you are having the transaction or uh, transactions those transactions will be classified first you should identify the transaction under which account the transaction comes whether personal real and nominal so once the identification has been done then according to the rule of that particular account so you should go for making the debit and credit entries this is all about the classification of accounts hope you all understood about the classification of accounts so please like share and subscribe my channel for more and more accounting concepts